You just need to trade this meat in a village tavern for beer. Wait, what? And then bring the beer to me. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Hold on here. Hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we're cutting it out. Hello, everybody. Great to place. We're checking out a game for the channel called Graveyard Keeper. So Graveyard Keeper is probably the strangest game I think I've played a long, long time. In Graveyard Keeper, our job is to propagate and uh, fix up the greatest graveyard that has ever lived in the universe. If I had to describe this game, it's basically like Stardew Valley meet some sort of twisted tycoon graveyard simulator. When I say take care of a graveyard, it's not in the traditional sense. Instead of, you know, like maybe burying people and stuff like that, our job is to uh, dispose of the bodies however we want and basically keep the head cleric off of our freaking tail as we try and take old grandpa's graveyard and make it look fantastic. Supposedly, the graveyard, uh, it kind of seems like we were transported to this world after getting hit by a car, probably dying. There's a lot of backstory to this. It's, it's not like we just inherited it. I think we just kind of like fell into an alternate dimension or were possibly under anesthesia. I'm really not sure. Over to the grave site to find out exactly what's going on. Let's go ahead and dig this up over here. Now, from what I've... <laughs> Holy start, I have a skull. Are you Gary? Why would you think I'm Gary? A man with a red eye told me I need to dig up Gary. Red eye, I remember. So before when we died, it was a little cutscene. I kind of like went past to get into the game. Effectively, uh, like Death set, stood there and he told us that I think we would meet a guy named Gary. And Gary is in fact this bouncy skull. He will answer all of our questions and teach us the discipline needed to become an epic graveyard keeper. Good, good. But first let me ask you. Who are you and where the Sard are we? So I don't think that Gary knows too much about what the hell's going on either. I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. You're the new graveyard keeper. And just like that, a new occupation is befallen on top of us. What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. All right. So let us wander down. Now, I'm actually pretty impressed for the most part about like the detail in this game. When you start getting into the game a little bit, there's like, look at this, there's like footprints and stuff like that. I never played Stardew Valley, but I imagine if I did, I would say that this is somewhat similar because I've seen other people play Stardew Valley for short stints. Okay, so I guess there's a donkey down here. We have to go talk to it for whatever reason because that's how things do. Go check it out over here. Got a fresh corpse from town. I guess that's how we get the bodies in order to make delicious coins. I'm not really sure. Wow, a speaking donkey. <laughs> you can understand me. Let's talk. Let's not. Oh, I guess we are. Who are you? I'm cheap labor. This car isn't mine, so I have to work for a capitalist <laughs> bastard who owns it. And I only earn five carrots a day. The poor downtrodden donkey. The situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? <laughs> I guess he's a Russian donkey. I really don't know. This bastard pretends he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to go back to town to get rid of this one, and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. <laughs> just throw it on my front lawn. And just like that, I guess we have a brand new corpse. Oh, it has a health bar? What does it go bad over time? Hey, what are you staring at? Grab that juicy corpse while it's still fresh. What for? I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fun. And it might be profitable. Now you're speaking my friggin' language. Let's do it. So, I guess the corpse actually does go bad. Oh, it is. It's going bad over time. Let's <laughs> just throw it over my shoulder. Let us go down into this beautiful morgue that we have. And when I say beautiful, I mean, it looks like crap. This place feels like home. I guess Sard is like, I don't know, hell or crap. I'm really not sure. Put the body on the autopsy table. Then what's next? Oh, yes. Slice some flesh from the corpse. That'll be good for starters. Well, this isn't right. Sure, sure. How could I forget? It's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with amnesia. Is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here. So shut the start up and do what I tell you to. You promise you'll tell me how to get home? You just need to trade this meat in a village tavern for beer. Wait, what? Talking skulls never lie. And then bring the beer to me. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on here. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. 
Oh, we're cutting it out. All right. When you oh, when you've gotten to the point, you'll get used to it. What should I do with the corpse? I don't know. Let's bury it. Take this corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. When you've gotten to the point in a game where you're carving me out of a corpse to exchange it for beer at the local tavern at the behest of a talking skull. You know that you've reached a dark place in video game entertainment where very few people have gone. This is why I love indie games. Let's freaking oh crap. Let's freaking do this. I guess take out? Yeah, there we go. I'll throw it on the ground, pick it up. Let's freaking do this to the to the graveyard. Let us learn how to become the greatest graveyard in ears in the universe. Walk right over here to our, I guess we own all this? Yeah, this is, so instead of a farm, you own a graveyard. And our graveyard looks like crap, just like how the farm looked like crap. I guess let's start to value. Go ahead and uh, talk to our skull boy over here. Let's bury it. Our tutorial, use the blueprint desk at the graveyard. Mark a site for the grave, then dig it with your shovel. Carefully, <laughs> put the body or what remains of it in the grave. Bury, decorate. Warning. Do not use goat skulls and upside down stars for decoration. Can you summon the devil in this game? So, oh, gravesite. Oh, cool. Okay, so we can put this wherever we want. I guess let's just put it next to this. Yeah, we can put it pretty much anywhere. I'm gonna put it over here because it fits really good. Uh, and then loom over here. Do I have to throw this? Yep, just throw it on the ground like it's no big deal. Start pulling up all the dirt. Oh, this game. Oh, this game is amazing. Grab the body, toss it in. Bury it. What are these little wreaths that are coming around every once in a while? Nicely done. This burial certificate. I remember. Money. Alcohol. Alcohol. Hmm. I used to like it a lot. Oh, sorry. Here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Look at this strapping gentleman. Oh, I know. Ask him about the burial certificate. He should know something. I'd better leave now. I'll be in the morgue waiting for my beer. <laughs> right, because I have to trade. Oh, the voice. I'm so tired. Why? Why do I have to come here every week? This guy's like, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, came for there. Yeah, I love this guy's voice. What do I do? He's, he's, look, oh, he's looking at me sideways. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. There's no way I'm promoting you to cleric unless you fix it. Oh, okay. The current location name, the important location information, the graveyard quality, and the church appeal. Oh, oh, so we have like a we have like a graveyard appeal instead of a curbside appeal. It's a graveyard appeal. Repair graves to increase the graveyard's overall quality. You'll probably need special resources to do that. You've unlocked new technology, wooden gravestone. Okay. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least five, I'll be pleased to promote you. You look like a spiritual leader, and I'm a good judge of character. I'm good at everything. That's why I was chosen to represent his will. Your predecessor used to keep stuff in a trunk. Somewhere here, you should check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I come here every whatever that is. Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. What should I say? Why is it you come here? That's part of my duty. It's an unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I kind of got screwed over into becoming the bishop, and now, sadly, I have to uh, trounce my way around dead bodies for at least part of my week. I don't know about you. I don't know much about all their traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. Of course. Why would you know? What is this burial certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade the burial certificate for money. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm not the keeper. I was going home from work. How can I fix the graveyard? Just repair all the graves. It wouldn't take me even an hour, but it's your job. Oh, okay, this just tells us how we do about... Okay, I got it, I got it. If you run out of repair kits while fixing the graveyard, you can always craft new... What? New ones, I'm guessing? Oh, mother of God. Technologies. To craft new items, you need to unlock the relevant technology. This costs tech points. Press tab and do things. You earn points by doing anything. You can get points studying new items. Okay. So, I'm guessing... Oh, mother of God. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, all right. I, I think I understand. So, what we have to do is we start with this stuff. And then as we get more of this goo, the red and the green, and I guess eventually the blue and stuff like that, we can unlock this thing. Oh! Oh, extract bone, extract skin, extract blood and fat. Oh, we have to unlock this stuff. Oh my God. The important parts like the brain and the heart and the intestine. What do you do with this once you have it? Well, boys, I got bad news. The quality of our graveyard is liquid crap. Uh, it's negative 28. You can see where all the negatories come in. It looks like anything. Yeah, all the, all the busted up trees and all the graves that look awful. 
So let's, oh. All right, so the day is kind of passing this by. Oh, that's the symbol that we saw before. Remember how the bishop says he comes here every whatever? I guess we're currently on the whatever, whatever the, the sun, Sunday. I don't know if it's like moon day or, or man day or woman day or what, but you, we have different symbols up here. We have, this must be like your stamina to do things. This guy over here is like looking at himself very narcissistically inside of his mirror. So if you go to, up to these, oh, you can dig it out. Ah, and I bet this will go down to negative 27. Yep. Oh, and we got a stick. Oh, we got a little bit of goo. So there's no reason not to do this. Oh, the bishop's leaving. Probably because it's transferring from night into day. Wow, there's a night and day cycle. We got energies. We're doing all this stuff up in here. All right, so we've, we've dug out some sticks, but there's other stuff that we can do. Like these graves over here, like this one's a negative two. What do you have over here? What the hell is this? Exhum. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave that there for right now. What does all this mean? I don't know what all this means. See how like there's like a health level or something? Gravestone. Oh, we can fix it with some stuff, with a stone repair kit and a bunch of energy. Okay, so what do you just kind of, there we go. Yes, working out in the rain, making this place look better. Plus two, freaking sweet. And now we can repair this grave fence as well. We just need enough energy. I don't know if we have enough energy. We're gonna have to go to sleep soon, I imagine. Come on, baby, get her done. There we go, look at that, already at negative 21. We're gonna be there in no time. We're gonna be a freaking clerk, it's gonna be epic. Now, it had said that we could craft new kits, so I'm assuming that's something that we're able to do. So tired. So, to wake up. Oh, wow, okay, so it heal. It looks like it heals your stamina. All we have to do is stay, the like, only problem is it's gonna be like half past noon by the time we're ready to wake up. Actually, I think I might just sleep through the entire night because uh, you can see the day is turning to night. Actually, you know what, we'll, we'll sleep, but we'll, oh. Oh, he woke up himself. All right, whatever. What is this? Cook. So our quest meter seems to be wanting us to kind of go this way. So I guess we'll go this way. There's stuff everywhere. Look at all this. What, are those like mushrooms or something? So let us trudge our sorry gravekeeper ass down the highway here. What is that? Oh, By order oh. of the great inquisitor, this path is closed until whatever that is. Oh, all right. Well, we're not there yet. In fact, we're not even like half. We're, well, we're halfway there. That's like at the other side of the daytime or whatever. Welcome to the village, people. Over to the... What does that say? The dead horse? <laughs> what a fantastic name for an inn. Got an innkeeper right over here. I'm assuming this is the dude we need to talk to. See what he has to say. Welcome to the dead horse tavern. I'm Herodric? Yeah, Herodric. How can I help you? I came from the graveyard. I woke up here yesterday today and things have been crazy since then. Oh, sorry. How could I not have recognized you? Good, this is good. Yes, my son. Things are looking bright for our small village. When are you planning on opening the church? I need to fix the graveyard first because it looks like hammered crap. Sure, sure. It's been a while since anybody took care of it. So let's get down to business, shall we? How can I help you? Uh, let's see. I'd like to trade you some fresh meat. Meat is a delicacy in our village. I'd be glad to buy it. I just need to see the royal meat stamp. <laughs> what? The royal meat stamp. Many years ago, there was an accident with a, uh, inappropriate meat. Ever since then, all meat must be approved by royal authority, and I don't need any trouble with the town. Does your meat have a stamp? Actually, no. I don't even want to know where you can get unauthorized meat, but wow, it looks really good. But without a stamp, my hands are tied. Where can I get this stamp? Oh, you send a form to the royal court through the mailbox near your church, your church but it'll cost you a bundle. But there's another way, and I'll tell you because we're neighbors. Come closer. Okay, there's a guy called Snake. He has a fake, I think he has a fake royal stamp, but to be honest, I haven't seen him in a while. You can ask Mrs. Charm, she comes here every female day. I bet she can help you find Snake, thanks buddy. So I need a friggin' meat stamp? Are you serious? For my human meat? That's apparently a delicacy, it's a, there's a bunch of cannibals. We're all a bunch of cannibals. This is a horrible game, <laughs> this is an awesome game. The bishop told me that you would buy my burial certificates, and he's right, as head of the village, According to the ancient contract, I have to trade it for money. Of course, only if I have any money. What do you mean? Well, the village is going through some hard times and we're short on money. But as soon as you open the church, pilgrims will bring lots of shiny coins to the village. Oh, wow, okay. So that's like super important that I open that up. Ask how you can get home, yeah. So, can you tell me where I am? Because I really need to get home. My darling will be so worried. Oh boy, you're a dead horse. Okay, look, it looks medieval. Maybe I traveled through time. And what year is it right now? Shrug. Year? What do you mean? You know, the time it takes for the Earth to make one revolution around the sun. Oh, you've been listening to that astrologer's nonsense. What? 
Everybody knows that the earth is flat. <laughs> Are they trying to shove memes into this game? I feel like they're trying to shove memes into this game, but I get you. It's 1204 after the ancient contract. And what is the name of our beloved kingdom? The kingdom. And it's definitely not beloved here in the village. Do you have any other questions? Apparently when they made this game, the genericness was one of those charming elements that they wanted to keep with it. Uh, trade, I guess. Can I give you my, my trade chunklet? Oh, Keeper, could you kindly take this letter to our local blacksmith, Kresvald? Sure, southeastern corner of the village. All right. Oh, I need to get beer for my guy, but also we have a burial certificate. So he's got some cash on him, so we can definitely get it. So let's go ahead and sell that. And then he's got two mugs of beer. And if you remember, we needed a beer for the talking head. So let's go ahead and order one chunk of little beer over here and do that. And I guess that's it. Let us lollygag our way down south to go over to the blacksmith's place. Now, I imagine the blacksmith's place will look very blacksmithy. There you go. Bunch of friggin... Oh, wow. You can you can dig and chop everything down. Like, there's stuff over here. We can just chop it. You can tell from all the ore and the bellows and the anvil and the guy with the blacksmith's apron. Hello, good sir. Why are you out here in the middle of the night? What are you staring at? Nothing. Just looking around. I think I'm the... I think I'm the keeper of the local graveyard. May I ask who you are? Unfortunately, I'm the local blacksmith. My name is Kresvald. How come no one's happy to be here? Like, everyone hates this town. I have a letter, Jack Wagon. I have a letter from Herodric. A letter, of course. One minute away, and he can't be bothered to come himself. And thus, we have the quests of any game ever made. I guess old habits never die. Thanks. Sorry for my nagging. It seems it's my new habit. Slimes again. Roderick has asked me to get rid of them. I don't have the time for the pesky little green bastards, but maybe you can help. Take this rusty sward and energy pot. The sword is broken, but you can repair it on the whetstone, the grinder. Keep the whetstone. Maybe you'll need it to repair your shovel sometime. Oh, okay. If you manage to kill them, bring me the remains and I'll spare you some materials. But there's like, there's like a killing element to this too? Oh, God. Different actions use energy, crafting, gathering, fighting. Press the space bar to attack with one T. You can always refill your health and energy with food and potions. Ah, so you can get more done in a day. Got it. Okay. So go over here, click on this, click on the sword, hit the crafty button, go to work. The sword gets friggin' fixed. There we go. And now what do you have to do? Tab. Ah, all right. So the sword's already prepared. So it looks like we just hit the space bar to whoop that ass. Yep, sure enough. Uh, eh, uh, eat it, eat it, friggin' slime. So, not, not much to this. Oh, cattail stalks! Mother of God! Hold on, can you actually get them? Can you do anything to them? No, I thought maybe you could, uh, maybe you could harvest them or something. Can I harvest any of those? Oh, I can harvest this tree. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Uh, I just want to see what happens. I want to know. Can I har- like, do they get pissed off at me if I harvest a tree? Oh, 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 I have to pick this up. Oh, I should have thought better. All right, whatever. Uh, oh, I defeated the slimes. Quest complete. Good job. Take the wet stone to sharpen your broken tools. That'll be good as new. So we just unlocked a bunch of new technology. That's awesome. We got swamp iron, iron ingot, and then the furnace. Okay. So you can get, like, tools and all kinds of crap from this guy. Uh, but they're actually, like, really expensive. So we're probably just better off freaking making them. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just gonna lug this log all over the place. Back to the dead horse. Oh, all right. I'll just toss it on the ground like I just don't care. Back to the dead horse to talk to our buddy over here. Uh, good to know you know how to use a sword. Creswell told me about how you helped him. Have a beer. It's on the house. Oh, I didn't even have to buy it. Well, whatever. All right. So we got our beer. We got our tree chunk. Let's head back to the house and give the beer to the skull. Whoa. I was coming to see the skull. The skull came to see me. Where have you been? I was at the village. This place is so weird. It feels so real. And everybody is okay with me just appearing out of nowhere. You're stealing my thoughts. Stealing. I remember there's a cellar in your cottage. Some provisions must be stored there. Oh, okay. Wow, I'm just we're just getting freaking technology left and right over here. Edible mushrooms. Ah, now we couldn't get the mushrooms. They were locked before. Now they're not. Got it. I remember breaking bread out of it. Mmm, pies. Sweet berry pies. Toast. Onion toast. Oh, that's good with beer. You know what? I need a beer. It's beginning to feel like a one-sided relationship. Bring me beer, and I'll tell you a lot of important stuff, like how you can get home. Questions? I'm glad that my my one friend in this entire land is a total jack wagon. Oh, there we go. I can put my logs over there. Did this say garden? Because this looks like, it looks awful. It's a kitchen garden. It's literally a garden. I guess I can plant stuff here, but for right now, it looks like everything is dead and or sad. Over to the morgue to speak with Sadie McNobody. Where'd my beer? I got your beer. Ah, what a disappointment. 
All that for nothing. Thanks, buddy. All right, you seem like a decent guy, so here's some advice. Stop running around bragging that you're from another world. I don't remember it clearly, but it was for doing something similar that I lost my body. Oh. So if you want to keep yours, just stop. Maybe he's right. Maybe I should be more careful. So what was your question? All right, uh, I have some... Oh, give him some wine, and he likes that. All right, how can I get home? I'm sure you could use the portal on which hill? All right, so what do I need to do? I need to turn it on first. I obviously don't have a brain inside here, so I'm not sure where this knowledge comes from. I've told you everything I can remember. Maybe there's some books in the library that can help you. Wow, the church has a library in the cellar. Oh, okay. Or maybe the young astrologer knows. He's a smart boy. All right, where's the astrologer at? He's so smart and very cheerful. Though I personally, though I don't know him personally, I think. But his wine was the best. And he's a big friend of the lighthouse keeper. They used to hang out at the lighthouse every moon day. And how about the, oh, where's the lighthouse? Somewhere near, let's, uh, I don't remember. <laughs> All these questions are so frustrating. You're not a very good friend, you know. How can I get to the library? Through the church, and I would think your wine cellar should be connected to the church cellar. Oh, even the morgue is connected. There's a network of tunnels down here. Net, net, I used to like fishing. I remember fishing. Once I caught a fish this... Sorry, I've got no hands to show you how big it was. But believe me, it was huge. It's not the, so it's not the size that matters, Mr. Skull. I think his name's Gary. I think his name's Gary. You know what? I need to go. It must be nice. It's nice to have legs. Don't forget to bring me some wine. All right, so we got to bring him some wine. We don't have any bodies right now. Uh, I think that we get bodies every day or so? Because I remember the donkey comes by and he drops bodies off over here. We also have to take care of a lot more of the, uh, the graveyard and everything. So let's start fixing up the graveyard a little bit more. I remember I was doing some work over here. We get this stuff done like so. Boop. There we go. Looking good. Uh, let's see. Do we need to do this? No. Oh, crap. We don't need to do anything there. It's a brand new day. And we got a brand new body. But... I want to be able to extract more goo, so let's go over here. I think that by fixing this stuff up, I'm getting the red chunklets that we need to eventually fix this up. So go over here, put a new fence on it. Oh, I need more wooden repair kits. Okay, uh, but what I can do is I think I can, I think we can rip these down. Yes. Okay, I think I got enough stuff to learn this. Uh, let's see, what is it under? Right over here, there we go. Oh my god, extract skin, extract bone. I can learn either of these, blood and fat. Let's do this one. What does it all mean? I have no idea. Let's go grab our body, though, and find out. Now, I think that you could sprint in this as well, but it, like, costs energy. So I think I'd rather just save my energy for ripping bodies apart. Pick this up, go up under here, throw it on the old autopsy table like so, like it's no big deal. All right, so let's see over here. Skin skull let's grab it all i guess let's get uh yeah let's go get the skin mm. yes pull that right out the body you never know what you may need it for let's grab some bones over here mm-hmm yep grab that as well and uh i guess the skin or the uh, skull rather i wonder if we can take everything or if you can only take so many things i don't even know what this is doing like we're ripping all of the pieces out of this guy but i actually don't know what what happens after we get all of his meat and stuff like that okay so we ripped everything that we could out of the body. So now we pick her back up, toss it outside. We need a brand new grave site for this thing. The grave site right over here. There we go. Go ahead and, oh, gotta dig it up real quick. Like it's no big deal. There we go. Oh, that will use a lot of freaking energy. Holy God. All right, there we have it. Okay, pick up yonder body like so. Throw it on in, uh, cover it up so no one knows about it. And there you go. Oh, we got a burial certificate, so we just made more money. Crap, we just got a new body. Hold on. You'll throw that over there real quick. Uh, Cause I, I'm, we're like fresh out of friggin' energy over here. I gotta, I gotta hit the hay. Oh, you know what? I've got energy potions. Yeah, I'll just use those for right now. We'll go ahead and rip this guy out, bury him, get another death certificate, and sell it for a bunch of cash. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to start getting bones, skulls, brains, and pretty much everything else, baby. All right, ripped everything I could out of the body. Body's at 96% like it's no big deal. Go over here, get a new gravesite going on up. Oh yeah, well, this place is filling up quick, actually. Come to think of it, throw you down there. Go ahead and pull this on up. Toss it in, cover it up. I think I have enough, I think I have a beer I can drink. I thought I had a beer I can drink to get some energy back. There we go, I did, it was just at home. All right, go ahead and quaff down a delicious beer and now we should be able to finish putting this corpse in there and then get that extra sweet cash from it. There we go, burial certificate. 
Let's go over to town though and uh, sell all the stuff that we have right now because we got a bunch of death certificates just like laying on us and I've got like all this flesh and stuff. I don't really know what it does. So I'm going to see if I can sell it. Ask about garden. Oh, I found a abandoned garden. Can you tell me anything about it? Oh, the garden. It was seized by the merchant to cover someone's debts. I can't find anybody who will make any use of it. I can give you permission to use the garden. Who else would agree to grow crops in your graveyard? <laughs> sure, buddy. Uh, keep listening. Sounds great. But you still need to talk to the merchant. It's his property. All right. It's not exactly proper to give you permission without his approval, but it'll be fine if you just promise to settle the details with him later. That's what I'm talking about right there. I still need to get the stamp. He comes to the trade uh, every, like, I don't know, steer day. Like horns. He owns the barn just south of the tavern. All right. So we can sell both of these right there. So that's pretty friggin' slick. So that got us some good stuff. All right, I'm going to go ahead and throw some uh, some of my bones and my skulls and stuff like that because we don't really need that right now. Oh, the garden certificate. That's right. Yep. Claim property. Freaking fantastic. Empty garden bed. Uh, right over there. Oh, you can make more than one. How much does it take to do it, I wonder? Hold on. Let me just check over here. Use your little shovely do. Go ahead and do it like this. I imagine it'll spit out some delicious stuff. Oh, plant. Plant what? I don't have anything on me, do I? No, okay. You need seeds and stuff like that. All right. So that's how we start up on that. Over to the town. Oh, the donkey's coming. More bodies. More money. Well, we got a new body, folks. Brand new body. You know... Pfft. Oops. You know what time it is. It's time to do the autopsy. We're taking all this crap out. All right, we, we managed to, uh, to snag basically all the meat this body has to offer. Also, I think it's today. I think today is the day that we might be able to find Snake because now I remember it was um, Mrs. Charm or something. Remember we had to we had to meet with Mrs. Charm and deal with all that crap. Now our graveyard quality is going down because we're not able to uh, make everything too pretty at the moment because I need to get a bunch more. Put that over there for right now. We need to get a bunch more uh, knowledge done so that we can learn how to make the kits in order to start fixing up all the gravestones and all there have you. Oh, I found the merchant! I've been waiting for this guy! Greetings, villager! Oh, he's the drunk merchant. Fantastic. Do you have any spare silver? I could offer you amazing things. Tasty and rare. I humbly apologize. But I won't buy you stuff unless it's something invaluable. And I doubt you can find something like that here. Actually, I'm new here. Everybody thinks I'm the keeper at the local graveyard. But I'm from another world. Weren't we supposed to not tell people this? I understand you all too well. This world is not mine either. Oh, thank God. Mine is a world of grandeur. The palaces of the town. But I'm not so lucky to be highborn. I have to earn my coins here. In this onion potato hell. Scare him to cure his hiccups. Talk to him about the... Let's scare him in a little bit. First, let me get the garden going on over here. Totally forgot about that dead weight. It cost me so little. But of course, that was so many years ago. And due to inflation and good soil, now it's quite a valuable commodity. Really? How about 10 goo? Uh, I don't even have that much yet. That's too much. All right. How about five? I, I don't have that either. Uh, look, I'm short on money. Maybe we can do something else. You're a poor man who wants to earn a little money by growing crops. We can discuss the terms of your rep, but first, let me see how good of a farmer you are. Let's make a deal. You deliver a batch of carrots, cabbages, and onions, and then I'll see you as a serious business partner, and we'll make a long-term deal that profit that is profitable for both sides. What do you say? Absolutely. Oh, you can get seeds from this guy. Grape seeds and whatnot. All right. I want to check my cellar out, too. I totally haven't done this. We were supposed to go down here a while back. Oh, mother of God. What is that sound? Oh, it's a random dude. It's like an elf or something. Wandering around inside myself. Damn gate! I'll come here every night if I have to, but I'll get through eventually. Where the hell is he trying to go? My cellar is like really big. <laughs> like, looks like I can remove this blockage and fortify the art. Oh, we need a ton of crap. Wooden planks, wooden wedges. All right. So that's something where we're gonna have to get a bunch of items to do. What are all these sacks down here? Boop. What in the holy hell? Oh, flower. Oh, and we can cut down these boxes for simple iron parts. Oh my god, this game is way deeper than I thought it would be. Like, I had no idea this game was going to be quite this deep. Guys, what do you think of a graveyard keeper? I gotta say to the developer, thank you for letting me the opportunity to check this alpha. I'm gonna have links in the description below if you want to kind of follow the game and check it out. Like I said, it's only an alpha right now, so there's still quite a ways to go. But they've got a pretty good idea. What do you think? Is it the, is it the twisted, screwed up, embalming, autopsy selling cannibalistic meat to villagers version of Stardew Valley. Let me know in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.